Yeah, guys, one reason why investors are drawn to crypto is because it is a decentralized form of currency, unlike the U.S. dollar. So it does not have one entity backing it up, which makes it less likely to fail. Take a look at some of the people that are investing into this. Yeah, guys, it's really not that busy right now, but in about an hour, uh, people are going to be coming in to hear three different artists that have been signed by Hill Records. Now, this process has been months in the making. Hey, guys, I'm standing out here in front of the Nanotechnology Building, where physics professor Hugh Churchill, along with the Arkansas Research Alliance, has designed a new uh, air filter that is supposed to help treat COVID-19. The Hyper offers basketball. Find out what inclusive way some people are playing it when UATV returns. The Gridiron Show was recorded in the UATV studio right behind me. Take a look on how they did it. We have put some fun at everyone. It's a local tradition. So much fun to do every year. For more than 40 years, members of the Society of Professional Journalists produce a live sketch comedy show to help fund scholarships for journalism students. Skits in the show poke fun at political issues near and far. Just the opportunity to get on stage or behind a microphone and just be silly and make fun of everything that's been going on. Catherine Sherlds is a lead producer and writer. She loves seeing audience reactions when the actors land a joke. They take something that's pretty funny on the page and just kill it on stage. Usually, the cast performs in front of a live audience where they can feed off that energy from a crowd. But this year, no one. The Gridiron crew canceled last year's performance because of COVID and planned to return in 2021. We started writing the show back during the minute and a half that we thought the pandemic was over. This year, they recorded the show as a podcast. By shooting the deer with their NRA-approved muskets. The tech team set up the UATV studio for production. While it isn't what they hoped, they're glad to return to the stage. Sort of. We're back. At least they're on the radio. While students could not be in the show this year, a group of them are editing and recording the podcast. Reporting for UATV, I'm Heath Anderson. That's right, guys. A local nonprofit, The People's Pantry, has one mission. They just want to help people however they can. Now, there's three components that go along with that. They need donations, and they just need anybody to go pick up cans and whatever from Harps and other grocery stores like that. Uh, number two, they need volunteers to help pass out the food to people in need. And then number three is probably the most important. Um, they want people that want and need help to know that uh, the People's Pantry is going to do whatever they can to, to help them out. And so Thanksgiving's coming up, and they've been helping people out get turkeys and, and whatever other Thanksgiving food items are it, that they need. And so I was talking to the founder, and he said it just goes back to this idea of helping people. Got to have that turkey ready for Thanksgiving dinner, so people scratching their heads or stressing out about it we want to uh, we don't want people stressing we want to provide a blessing yeah guys the people's pantry um, if you're interested in reaching out they have a Facebook page the people's pantry NWA uh, reporting live for UATV I'm Heath Anderson here at the Greek theater a homecoming king and queen were announced recently take a look at how that went down Friday the University of Arkansas announced senior Grace Crane as homecoming queen. Coming from a family of Razorbacks, she says this feels even more special to her. They're probably more excited than I am. Um, I think I'm the 11th person in my family to go to school here, and so Razorback pride is just very, very deep. But what did it take to get this honor? It's a process that officially began a few months back. It involves, you know, panels of judges and interviews, and it's very deep and it's a huge time commitment. Crane's sorority elected her to represent them. Along with being heavily involved in that, she is on the Walton Honors Executive Board in the Accelerated MBA program and is the president of Beta Gamma Sigma. Tia Anderson is the vice president of ASG who oversees the selection process. She says the chosen applicants possess impressive resumes. They've had some tangible impact that's helped better our campus whether that's within their specific RSO or more like campus-wide. After making the top seven, which is the court, campaigning for the crown began. Crown Crane started to pop up around social media as a way to tell students to vote for her. Crane and the rest of the court paraded down Dixon, and then it was off to the pep rally at the Greek Theater for the big announcement. <laughs> Hey 
All that prep led to this moment. Jack Berg and Grace Craig! And Saturday at the game, Jack Barr and Grace Crane were um, honored at halftime. Reporting live for UATV, I'm Heath Anderson. That's right, guys. I was able to talk to one person who got some help from a branch of the Pat Walker Health Center. Take a look. Sophie Narani has been a student at the U of A for three years. Like many, the pandemic caused her to address some mental health issues. It kind of sucked just because um, I went home right after that and then it was quarantine. She knew about CAPS, which is the Pat Walker Health Center's counseling and psychological service branch. CAPS helped Narani address her mental health in a positive way. Just finding ways to better interact with others and set boundaries with people and that's something that I wanted to work on that I couldn't really do myself. She's not the only one that's been helped. College can be great, but it can also make one feel isolated, anxious, or depressed. Compound that with a global pandemic, and people would benefit from something like CAPS. Zach Brown is the Assistant Director of Communications for the Pat Walker Health Center, who says that reports of students' issues have been more severe since spring of 2020. Students who are seeking mental health services through CAPS are reporting that they are having increased uh, symptoms of depression and anxiety as a result of not only the COVID-19 pandemic, but also just the ongoing um, you know, social crises that we have seen across the country. You know, mental health is kind of a blanket term. It includes stuff like depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, etc. And CAPS has different options for people that want help, including call-ins, one-on-one, and even group sessions, all here on Zoom if they want it. Narani joined a group session, something she had never done before. We didn't know each other. While it was awkward and weird at first, she began to trust her group. I started sort of opening up in that after a while. It took a couple. Hearing other people's perspectives helped Narani with her own personal experience. I was able to think about it differently and, and be like, oh, okay, well, this is how I should try it next time. She no longer uses CAPS, but says the program helped her in ways she couldn't have done without. Yeah, and during my interview with Zach Brown earlier, he said, if you're looking for services for next year, it's better to get started right after the break. Uh, reporting live for UATV, I'm Heath Anderson. That's right, guys. The theme of Robinson's address today was that the university is hot. He even invoked the popular song, This Is Why I'm Hot, to promote the university with energy and enthusiasm. But he didn't just do that just to be positive. He actually had facts to back it up. For example, enrollment is at an all-time high. We have over 29,000 students on campus. And over 6,500 of those students are from underrepresented communities, which is also an all-time high. And as far as academics go, there are over 6,000 freshmen with a GPA of 3.75 or higher. You know, I was able to speak with Robinson on how leading positively can lead to the university doing great things excited and optimistic we need those you know traits we need those uh that feeling because it'll stimulate creativity and accomplishment the university is celebrating its 150 years of being a, a college and he talked about that today he said we've had a, a pretty good history but we can improve so his his big push is for the 150 forward and a tangible thing he talked about to promote that was the Student Success Center, which among many things is to increase uh, graduation rates. Reporting for UATV, I'm Heath Anderson.